Let's start. Um, weird winner. Just a, an odd winner. So, we're hiring. And I guess this story goes as far as um, how important your first year in this trade or this, the first two years in this trade is. So we were hiring for someone that has just two years experience. And this is a weird time as far as the applicants you get. Two years, you get applicants that run the board, okay? And I there's guys that try to tell me their schooling is two years. Um, and when you ask for two years experience, I'm looking for two years of hand experience, like using tools, all right? And when, when you do these interviews, we bring them in and the first thing I need to see is I need to see the tools in their hands because that's gonna tell me within seconds where they're at. And the reason being is when you've had tools in your hands for two years, okay, your your movements are different. And there's this barrier that you break through as far as what your hands look like and, and how you use your tools. So it's probably one of the best job interviews to do is to go onto a job site and have them bring their hand tools with them and you know do a job interview all right that's what we do and to get them you know, we're hiring i think four guys all right and to bring four guys in we probably had to go through 30 all right just to weed it down to these four guys possibly can can come on so when the four guys come on it's imperative that we check their their hand movements how they conduct themselves and their momentum and typically your first two years you're going to learn how to build momentum you're going to learn about how to use your tools so that's what we're looking for and one of the applicants on paper says he has two years said he went to school but when you look at his tools, his tools do not say that. And, you know, I, I, when he first came in for the job interview, the first thing I said, based on your tools alone, you do not have two years. And I was being honest with him. And, I, and he's like, no, no, I have two years. I have two years. So I brought him onto a job and I had him open up a couple switches. And just taking the plate off, he didn't have the muscle memory. He didn't have it. And it's not hard to spot. So then, and this is where he becomes dangerous, a, a person that has two years, if they know an outlet is hot, typically they've been trained by that point to know how to proceed with an energized box. And this is where, you know, if you lie on a job application, it's it, it never benefits you, all right? So he opens this box up and he puts both hands into the box. And right off the bat, I stopped him and he does not know how to work hot. That is a valuable lesson that he just learned because he could have seriously hurt himself. So I let him complete the day and I explained to him how important those first two years are and do not waste them going for more money. And he, he, the first thing he said, he goes, well, I have bills. I told him to get rid of the bills. 
the your education in the beginning, this first two years, is far more important than whatever bills you have. So it's more important that you get in with a, a, a house or a club or, or a job that is going to direct you and train you correctly. The first two years of training, it's, it, it, it's extremely important. It'll set your whole career off. All right. And the guys that like, I, I luckily, luckily, my first two years were awesome. I had a, a good company to break me in. And then I had another group of mechanics that took me in. So the first company broke me in new construction. New construction is amazing for learning speed, learning repetition, and getting that getting the tool movements down in your hand. I'm not saying it's great forever, but it's amazing for if you if you're just new and you're coming into this trade, jump on new construction for six months, maybe even a year, and learn how there's there's a lot to learn on new construction. I'm not saying stay there and then figure out what you want to do. If you want to stay residential, then you can learn about, you can, well, I would recommend going underneath the master electrician and doing renovation work. I would do new construction, renovation, service calls in that, in that order too, because what you'll learn from the renovation work and new construction will benefit you when you get into service calls. All right, service calls are difficult. Like anyone can do a service call. It's how efficient you are at doing them. And if you have new construction and renovation work in your in your resume, service calls are gonna be a lot easier. All right, so that would be the progression that I would recommend guys. This guy, on the other hand, again, he's talking about having bills and this and that, but in his hands, he's not gonna make it, all right? And if he doesn't turn himself around quickly, it's gonna hurt him, it's gonna hurt his career. And what, for an extra couple bucks an hour? Maybe what I think he, he was applying. He was applying for a two year guy. So you're probably looking at maybe a difference of four bucks an hour. All right. That's sacrifice that money. It's not that important. Your, your experience that you're learning those first couple of years is far more important than that little bit of extra money. All right. Downside, like the, we're talking about the rest of your life as a career. And you got to look at it that way. You like play chess with your career. Don't play checkers. All right. And if you need that experience, go get a job with that experience. He should, he should have done new construction. He should have. All right. Because that's, it, and his tool quality, his tools were junk and he didn't know the difference. And if you don't know the difference between bad tools and good tools, then you don't have that much experience yet. Because if you're gonna be in this trade for a long time, you're gonna learn the difference of what what a good tool is and what a crappy tool is. So, God bless, it's Tuesday.